Hey everybody, Haku here with my review of One Piece Anime episode 835. Um, and this is another weird one where a part of me doesn't want to be negative at all really because I love this part of the story and I love One Piece. And another part of me is like, well objectively as an episode of anime this wasn't all that great. Um, it wasn't very good at all really. Um, a lot of it, I bring up a lot where I'm like, I'll see an episode and I'll be like, does it seem like Toei's half-assing this? Because um, some things feel like, not that they're bad or unavoidable, just like these lazy little small things that I'm like, if they kind of put some time and attention to detail, like, they could totally fix that, but it was like they just were like, yeah, whatever, just do it. Um, so let's, let's start from the beginning. The first, like, two plus minutes is recap. Uh, so it was definitely longer than usual, or at least for lately. Uh, we start off with some scrub fighting that wasn't as poorly animated as last episode, but it still did I mean, it was just Sanji fighting some scrubs, and it was really drawn out. Um, and I just kept thinking that all of this stuff going on, all the Straw Hats here, all their allies here, all of these cool big mom pirates, and what we're focusing, like however many minutes on what we're drawing out is Sanji fighting some no-name scrubs I, all of this good stuff we have and we're focusing on this um, then Caesar leaves the mirror world with Berlay uh, and even like up to nine minutes in like the first full half of the episode really up to nine minutes in we were still seeing scenes that we saw last episode um, so it was still kind of recap-ish uh, so, like, the whole first half of the episode was kind of a drawn-out mess. Uh, Beigefully turns on Katakuri. Uh, I like the way that with Katakuri getting shot and Luffy getting shot, we see the similarities between the two of them and their quirks doing similar things. Uh, Oven gets the portrait away from Luffy. Brooke is the MVP, though. Like, what the hell? Brooke is just constantly saving everyone's asses here. Um, so, Brooke's the MVP here. Um... Judge. Judge is such a bitch. Judge is really... Judge bottom five. Judge is, like, terrible here. Um, and then I just got done recording my Boku no Hero Academia review, and I'm not going to spoil anything from that in case you haven't watched, but one thing that I complimented was that when some characters were standing around talking to one another, the other characters weren't just standing around doing nothing. They were actually... They actually got involved and fought and did their thing whatever they didn't just let the bad guys stand around and talk whereas here with this we have this whole wedding full of people and characters and there are a lot of characters on both sides that are just standing around doing nothing uh, Nami's group I know hasn't jumped out yet or still hiding in the cake but during all this mess they've still done nothing um, there's so many members of Big Mom's pirate crew that, of course, if everybody jumps in to fight at the same time, they'd maybe get in each other's way, but they're letting the Straw Hats gain a lot of ground while just standing around doing nothing. They could at least be, like, getting into some sort of positions or, um, setting up some sort of plan for if whoever's fighting misses, they jump in and fight next. I just... There was a lot of standing around doing nothing. There was a lot of standing around doing nothing this episode. Um, we have a good Reiju internal monologue. I did like that a lot. Uh, Pedro and Jimbei protect Luffy, and so does Beige as Katakuri's trying to stop him. Big Mom finally sees the portrait and shrieks. Uh, I, everybody starts putting in their ear, <laughs> earplugs, and I freaked out because I care just putting them on the ears on the top of her head. I never thought about that. It killed me. I was dying. Um, Luffy was really funny too, the way she starts scree screeching and Luffy just flops around on the ground screaming. Um, then we have Sanji jumping in, activating, um, Diablo Jambo, uh, Diablo Jambe? Um, and that animation was really bad. I know, like, I, I laughed a lot. I know, I was like, what on earth is this animation? Uh, that was really bad. It's like the complete opposite of last episode where it was like incredibly good Sanji kick animation out of nowhere. Uh, but they they save the Vin Smokes and all. He saves them. And uh, Nami, Carrot, and Chopper bring them the raid suits and put in the earplugs and all that. 
<laughs> Vito and Gotti jump out of beige with the launchers. All I can think of is that Sanji animation now. Uh, and Big Mom falls to her knees and starts bleeding, so we see that she has uh, lost her protective iron balloon coating. And once again, again, a problem with Tohei that I've had, and I brought up a million times, I haven't brought it up as much lately, but I'll bring it up again here because it's entirely true for what we just saw. They just... And because I saw somebody that was reviewing Boku no Hero Academia, once again, I don't want to compare the two too much because they're both very different. Um, but One Piece is such an amazing manga. Imagine if a studio cared enough to give it the treatment that Boku no Hero Academia is getting, that respectful kind of treatment. Um, but Toei just spoiled the entire episode. We saw the entirety of last week's episode's plot, like scenes from all throughout it, everything we saw just in 30 seconds. So no need to watch next week's episode. They explained everything that's going to happen. They showed everything that's going to happen. No need to watch next week. Uh, and Toei does this almost every week. They use the preview as a way to tell you everything that's happening in the next episode. Whereas what somebody reviewing Broken no Hero Academia said, with their preview, they literally showed two things that we already know and see are happening, and they gave away no information about what would be going on next time. So again, amazingly done, compared to Toei giving people less of a reason to watch their own product, because they already said, I could not be an anime-only watcher. I was up until... I think around Punk Hazard is when I started reading the manga for the first time. Um, but I could not be anymore. They just spoil everything that happens in the next episode. And it was really bad during Dress Rosa. Um, but, oh man, it's bad right now. Um, at least for this episode. This episode was terrible for that. Like, I guarantee you, once we get to next week, once we watch next week's episode, we'll be able to go back and say, oh yeah, literally everything in the episode was in the preview. We could have just watched that 30 seconds and been good. Um... Gosh, that's, that's such a problem. That bothers me so much because it's so disrespectful to One Piece being such a good manga and getting that kind of shitty treatment. Um, but yeah, I don't know what to think about the episode. I love One Piece. It, it wasn't animated as bad as most of last episode. Um, but every little thing they did just felt really drawn out this time around. Um... Like, in some of the stuff that was kind of important was so drawn out that it didn't feel as important anymore. Um, so yeah, man. Toei just, I don't, I don't know what they do sometimes. I don't know what they do sometimes. It was a mess. Um, it still wasn't absolutely horrible. It's just that seeing the potential of what it could have been, and then seeing how some of the stuff was just like, Every single scene this episode, I'm like, if that scene was done well, it would have been good, but it was just done really lazily. Um, so I'd give it 5.5 half-assed anime out of 10, because the underlying story is still good, and what's happening is still good. It's just that the actual production of it, the animation, the sound, uh, the structure that they used, uh, I guess that'd be direction, um, it was just really lazy. It was just something really good, but done in a very lazy way. So 5.5 .5 out of 10. Hope you enjoyed the video. I still got enjoyment out of the episode, which is why it isn't lower. Um, but I, I don't know. I don't know what Toei's thinking sometimes. Um, so either way, well, if you did like the video, comment down there to tell me what you thought of this episode, what you thought of my thoughts on it. Subscribe for more One Piece, both anime and manga. Tons of anime and manga on the channel. Uh, follow on Twitter if you want. I'll try to keep you updated there and stuff for the channel. And if you want a link to our Discord server, then just ask and I'll give you a link. That's it. Thank you once again for watching, and I'll see you all next time.